Arizona back in the national spotlight in about three hours. Two more people in the so-called fake electric scheme are scheduled to be arraigned. 12 News journalist Jade Cunningham joining us live in downtown Phoenix this morning where court is expected to get underway with more on who's in court and also Jade what they're facing. Good morning. Yes, yeah, so this all stems from an indictment that was handed down back in April by a grand jury. There were 18 people who were named in that report and all 18 defendants are accused of conspiring to overturn Arizona's presidential election results. Now today, former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and Donald Trump's former 2020 campaign official Michael Roman, they are both due in court for their arraignment. All 18 defendants face nine felony counts, each including conspiracy for forgery and fraud. If found guilty, they do face the possibility of prison, though it is possible they could get probation. It just depends on the defendant's circumstances. Now, as of right now, 13 have so far been arraigned. That includes state Senator Jake Hoffman. He was actually in court just yesterday, and he said he was innocent of any crime and will vigorously defend himself in connection with the fake electors case. He, like many others, pleaded not guilty. Now, today's hearing for both Roman and Meadows, it will be virtual. It will be held at the Maricopa County Superior Courthouse. It, it again, is expected to take place later this morning. Now there are three others who have yet to be arraigned and their court hearing is scheduled for June 18th. For now reporting live, Jay Cunningham, 12 News, Today in AZ. Thank you.